Nice. Nice. Good job. All right, good guys. That was good. Were you using the water all then, Martin? A little bit. Just okay. That was good. It was good. Your, your body, like, I mean, I can't see your legs, but the body line was up until you like your hips were good. Um, all right, let's do one more time. Let's do another headstand one. Alison, I'm gonna challenge you. You're gonna do, so we're gonna go up here. We're gonna straddle, straddle down, pike, straddle, down to the pike. Okay, but what I want you to do is arm straight. Okay, yeah, before you move your legs, you extend your arms, find the balance and start to move slowly. Yeah, okay. I mean, Martin, if you want to try it, you can as well, buddy. But you guys, try to move the arms. I will just say, it's like, yeah, Martin, just keep your arms where they're at. I don't want to have too much pressure on you. Okay. But make sure you press into the floor, Alison. So you want to turn your hands uh, the way around as well once you go forward. Like this position. Nice, Alison. Good. Yeah, Martin, where you at? Just move your legs. Just Towards right. the wall. Say that again, buddy, but Am I supposed to move the legs towards the wall more? No, 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 you were perfect. Just get no, the no, movement could... down. Get the movement down. Straddle. Straddle pipe. pike. Straddle pike if you can. Alison, was really good. Very good, Alison. Good control, yeah. Take a break. Nice. Much better, Martin. Much better. Push yeah. up them hips. Strong back, yeah, fill them abs. No, that's nice. it right here, it's good. Now move your legs. That's it, now move your leg. Nice, nice. He's in better line, I like it. My headset is low in battery. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's good. Good. Yeah. All right. Good job. Good job, guys. Well, let's move on. That was quite impressive. Um, we're going to do some... Uh, Alison, we're going to do some stuff with Martin. You're going to do it away from the wall. All right. So whatever we give you, you're going to... We're going to give you both. We're going to you, so it's not too, too bad. All right, so Martin, we're going to start with you walking up to the wall like we do normally. So the wall is this side. You're going to just press up, walk up into the wall, chest to the wall, chest to the wall and hold. <laughs> that was really hard to demonstrate. Cat could have held my feet, but you know, I'll just pretend that there's a wall. Well, back. ask for it. I don't know what are you doing. So. so anyway, yeah, so you know that one. Walk up to the wall, hold the handstand, again, fill the line. Alison, what I want you to do is we're going to do some top ups. So you're going to go up, pick up, and back down. Not against the wall, though. Not against the wall. Okay. Pick up, hold, strong back, hold it, come down. You don't have to. Uh... Oh, hang on. Sorry. Somebody was called. Who was it? You know? No. Skim. Oh. All right. So, yeah. So, Alison, you're just going to do like kind of top kick ups. No wall. No wall. And then Martin, you're just gonna walk up, hold it for about 10 seconds, walk back down. Okay. Yeah, straight line, only toes, you, your toes is touching. So try to get your chest, your hips off the wall, so you flex your feet and only your toes touching. You press through the floor yeah. and you're focusing on this part. Weight goes through the fingers. Yeah, so you activate your forearms. So kind of just let's fire up and see where you are. Good, Alison. Nice, Alison. Legs together, Martin. Tuck your toes under. Reach up. One line. Imagine you're one line. 
Good catch, Alison. Good working. Good, Martin. Walk out. Bend the hips. Bend the hips. Uh huh. Good. Yeah, you're much more comfortable. I see. It's getting better. Yeah, Alison. Alison, more more confident in your jump up. Like kick up a little bit more. Like you know where you're going. Okay. Just be a bit more confident in yourself. You got a good handstand line there. So jump it up, kick it up to the ceiling, and engage that core. Boom, straight away. Good. A nice catch. That's good. That's it. Catch. Yep, yeah, good. Nice, Martin. That's so much better, buddy. Try to keep them legs off the wall. Just the toes. Just the toes. Lock out your legs straight if you can. Your lower back is great. Nice, Allison. Very good. All right. Come down. Keep that head in, Martin, when you come down. That's a good, boy. Watch that head. I see it. As soon as you want to come out, your head comes out. So just watch that because that's that's like a bad, it's a bad habit to get into in a handstand. Is open up, keep the head in. All right, good, nice. Rest a second. I don't need to die on me. <laughs> All right, guys, good. So now what I want, Martin, what I want. Cat, can you hold my feet? Yes. Where am I? You have it here? Yeah, you got look here. So basically, cat's the ball. She's a beautiful ball. Thank you. About as clever as the ball. <laughs> so here, right. So you're against the wall. Okay, feet just touching like cat said, and push through the shoulders. You're doing great here. Your position's nice. And then I want you to step. Okay, I want you to I want you to dance a little bit. Just transfer the weight, press, 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 press. Those, okay. Those touching the uh, walk the whole time. Yeah, keep the toes that distance away. Nothing else try to touch. And and just, you don't have to like fully come off, but just transfer, transfer, like you're walking. Okay? okay. And once again, do not sink in you're the shoulders. You're walking like this though. Oh. You're not sinking in the shoulders. Yeah, you're push. not doing the hips. You only do push. the arms. Push. So you transfer your weight. So this line is not breaking on the side. You're not doing the hips thing. You just go like as a straight line. A bit like the shoulder taps in the plank. We don't really move in anything else. Okay? okay. It's just push through and through. But it's a little bit more. Uh, Alison, you're going to do the same love of no wall. All right? So just go up, Alison. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you can go slower, transfer. Alison. Take it's fine to walk forward. Try to have yourself like a space. Like I know I see your mat. You've got like, try to pick two colors on that mat where you go forward and back. You don't go continuously forward. So you're going. Oh, like, like I was on here, I was trying to go forward, that's fine. Go forward, but then come back. Just try to stay in like that area, if you can. Give that a shot, guys. And just also wash the wrist, Alison, as well. With the same soft mat like that, you, it is more pressure on the wrist. So you, it, sometimes it might be better to do it on a hard floor. Ah, I can move the weight. Fine. Okay. No, I just, I just don't want you to hurt your wrist, because then yeah. you're screwed. Sure. But, uh... <laughs> On the floor. <laughs> I always like it better on the floor. Well, yeah, harder on the floor. I feel like Martin got taller. It's so long. <laughs> nice, nice. Push good. more, Alison. Good. Push more. Love his shoulders more. Push, push. Nice, push. Alison. Good. Yeah. Right, Martin. Nice, buddy. Slowly does it. Transfer the weight. Transfer the weight. Engage your legs more, Martin. Reach up and walk, walk, walk. Try and keep off that wall. Keep them toes pressing you off. Keep I them. see your ears. Cover your ears. I want to see your ears. <laughs> yes. Look at your head still. <laughs> good job. Good job. It's good tiring. job. Come down. It's Come tiring, down. Yeah. yeah, don't do too many because then you start to break. Martin, cut what Kat said. You're um yeah, don't don't look completely in. Okay, that does cover the ears, but you gotta try and keep that line. So it's like I said on the floor, you gotta push your neck forward a little bit more. All right, so you are covering this, even if, I mean, not fully covering, but just keep that head in, okay? So look at your hands, but keep it in. Yeah, don't, and don't the stick comfort it of uh, covering the ears, so your eyes is constantly up. You're not just looking straight in your hands, so your head sticking out like that. You in, but your eyes is up. So that's why it's like your eyes is constantly all the way up to see your hands. Mm -hmm. So it's not like looking at your hands. You tuck in, but you still look at your hands because your eyes can move all the way up. So that kind of like eyes is up. 
but ears are closed. Right, we're going to do it one more time. Alison, I want you to do four steps forwards, four steps back. So now more in control, not just one, like... But control. like, yeah, just, just like this though. Here, up, oh, oh, one, two, three, four, one, two, right, and go back. Go back, it's harder. So you maybe even one, can start two, to go back and then go three, forward. So four, stop, so one, two, three, four. It's just, don't rush it. Try to control your body. Like when you do it, when you walk on your hands like that, where it's very precise, you have to take, you got to tell your body to like, give me some, like, it's like giving just a little bit, you know, it's like, it's weird. Like you, it's like you when you walk forward. kind of a, let yourself fall and then you catch and it's harder to fall back because normally yeah. you will just come out of the headset. So that's it's very fun. slight. It's like when you're walking forwards on the, when you're walking forwards anyway, just on your feet, you are leaning forward slightly. You don't feel it because your body naturally does it. But your body is slightly forward. You're keeping the weight there. And if you want to walk faster, we lean faster forward, don't we? Yeah, so, so if your action starts not with your feet forward. Your action starts with your upper body forward. Yeah. So it's same with the handstand. You start with the legs. So we don't break like this. We don't well, when we walk. So it's kind of like you're keeping that straight body, but you're coming from the as one. You're moving as one. So just try to try to think about that. Your body will naturally do it. Just get to a good handstand first. And Martin, you do the same, uh, what you just did, buddy. One more time. Good. Just adjust that head and look at the hands and little transfer. Nice, Alison, good. One, three, four, good job. Take a, uh, I, I right. take That's your good. time. Stop. And then, yeah. Ah. That's good, that's good. <laughs> good That's one. it, find it. And then... Uh, Try to stop for a second after you walk and then catch your falling other way and yeah. then go. I want you to learn a fall to walk. With Martin, from the push, hips. push, push more, Martin. Push more, push, push, push. Yeah, it's too tiring. Yeah. Bend on the hips, bend on the hips. Good. Yeah, it's a rough one. Martin, what do you feel when you do that, buddy? I'm just, I'm just super afraid of my, of my shoulders that they're just going to, you know, be in this position and I'm just going to fall. Oh yeah. Good Ali, two steps was good. Okay, okay, that's good. But you have to, this is this is something that you have to know by now is that because the amount of work you've done with us over the last year, nine months. Yeah, it's been nine months. You're you're getting stronger. You gotta trust yourself a little bit more, mate. All right. And that's that's something you've got to be more confident in yourself. It's it'll be very rare, I would say, that you would just collapse. You know what I mean? Unless you let yourself collapse. It's like a... You're strong enough now in the shoulders to to hold yourself, and it's something that like like I even if I held my hands down for like three minutes, four minutes, like I'm at like exhausted. I know I'm not gonna fall onto my face. Mm. You know what I mean? Like it's very hard for me to fall straight forward onto my face in that in that uh, in that in that situation because your body just naturally, you know. It's like when you're super tired and your legs are like you're standing, but you don't just like fall smack on your face. It's like you come out. So just trust yourself that you're fine and you're safe and you're strong. And, um, and of course, when you're super tired, just like in control, hold yourself together and come out. Just don't let yourself collapse. And why, why are you feeling that your shoulder is about to come out? It's because you're sinking in your shoulders. Try to get that lock. Try not to sink. I don't know if you have space. Once when we were holding, you know, the for, for one minute, at the end, like of the one minute, my shoulder just said like no, and it just I just fell down. And since then, I'm having this block in my head that it's gonna happen again. Oh well, yeah, that's why I want you to lock your shoulders constantly. I don't want you to, I want you to be more in control to lock them and not let them out. So you really have to hold them in, and then not let them come out. So it's it's you in control. You in control of your body. So if uh, your body is like falling, sorry, Ali, yeah, keep doing that and walk back. I, I don't see, see, she's sinking the shoulders, she come out right away. But again, like all what I see with you, Martin, your core is now perfect. It's literally perfect. Your back, your core is perfect. Shoulders, it's that you're thinking it's strong, but you're thinking that's come out, your legs kicking you out. Remember I tell you when legs like noodles, they kick us out of our hands and they kick us out of our position. So you really need to engage your legs. So I know it's a lot to think about. Oh, I need to look at my hands. I need to engage my wrist. I need to engage my palm, my forearm. It's too much to think about. But with repetition, 
eventually it's little by little goes together. But when you worry about your shoulder, you shouldn't worry about your shoulder. Get your leg engaged. Make sure you have a straight line. So nothing that will kick you out of the handstand. Does that make sense? Yes. So yeah, it's just, just really don't worry about it. You're in control. It's your body. Yes, you're upside down. Yes, it's a little bit odd. But get your legs straight. You have a very long, beautiful legs, and it's hard to control them. Like for short people like me, it's a little bit easier. Life is a little bit easier upside down. But people like Wayne, strong and thick, harder to hands on. And people like you, long and lean and like super, super long legs, it's hard to do hands on. I have a friend, she's super long legs. You see her with big eyelashes and lips. She's like still doing hands on, but she's like a noodle. And I constantly have to tell her like, engage your legs, engage your legs. And when she squeeze everything, she's perfect. So just, you have to really, really watch your legs not mm -hmm. let them kick you out of the handstand. Yeah, okay guys, let's do one more and then we will move forward when we went out. Um, give me a good one with the very engaged legs. Ali, take your time to walk back. Don't sink your shoulders. Lift up and send your line to walk back. Yes, good girl, that's awesome. Yes, good job, beautiful. Nice, Martin. Ali, take a break, you work hard. When I walk uh, backwards, my um, arms are getting wider and wider. It's normal. Ah, okay. It's normal. Yeah, because your chest wants to sink. Good, Martin, good. Engage everything, straight lines, strong, even when you're coming out. Don't let your shoulders sink, push, 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 push. Bend in the hips. Good, good, good guys, good. Shake it off, shake it off. Get your neck moving, get your shoulders relaxed. That's awesome, that's awesome, good job. So you're always thinking when you're practicing, engage your body fully. Like you show just perfect control in the last set, Ali, when you like really, I know it's uncomfortable, it's so like strange. You tiny bit start to falling and you catch. I know the steps was a little bit wide, but you did good. It was a little steps, but you did good. With the practice, it gets better and better. Walking backwards in the hands is really uncomfortable. Walking forward is easier, but you did good, so it's awesome. So what do we do next? Now we did something new, so now what would you like to do? Did you did any of my little story thing that I post, that little practices? That actually will be perfect for you, Martin. I'll that little kicks and stuff. You I will send it to you. Personally, if you didn't see it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Good. So that's a very easy, like by the couch, like as long as you have a straight line from your hands to your hips and you're in the pike and you can practice by the wall or couch or anything. So that's really good. But Alison, you're definitely different level. So should we move forward? Yeah, this is done, the wax. Yeah, you've done it a lot and you did a lot too. So what's next? What would you like? When you say you want to do one arm, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> if that, yeah, I don't know if it's possible <laughs> for me to be able to do that once, but I would like Absolutely it. possible. Since that I even see that um, you're not alone at the house or so somebody can help you with the transfer. Uh, oh, yeah. They just barely need to hold you with two fingers and you need to just do a transfer. They just, it's all, uh, it's all your job. They just need to give you a little support. So I will try to get him back so we can demonstrate it on uh, me or him without the wall. But let's just warm up and do the wall and we're gonna add a straddle uh, by the wall as much as you can or just a V. Find what you're more comfortable with. If V it's too much and it's hard to move, I understand just get uh, like more um, like, yeah, that's a V or just bigger straddle. So yeah, let's get by the wall, chest to the wall and we're just gonna do transfer hands and remember, like I say, one straight line, the hips doesn't bend, hips doesn't dance, they just transfer. So let's do that. That will look like, I don't even warm up, but I try. <laughs> so that will look like this. Yeah. And you will be here and it will look like this. But you guys can do by the wall. Yeah. Oh, blood in the head. 
Oh, yeah, thank you, Martin. Nice quads, Martin. All right. Nice quads. Thanks. <laughs> I've been working just to the wall, Ali, just to the wall. I can give you the workout program that I was following. <laughs> nice. Ali, when you get a chance, can you turn chest to the wall, please? Just, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, you're fine, you're fine. Please don't apologize. Okay, Martin, hands closer to each other. Spread your fingers nice and wide. I want spread fingers, spread fingers. Whole palm is open, yes. Push, I want your shoulders touch your ears. No sinking. Bring your hands together, Martin. More together. Okay, Ali, good, good. Martin, take a rest. Push. Drop your right leg down a little bit more. Yes, right there, right there. Push, 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 push. Somewhere there, good job, good job. Hold, change, other side. I know other side is harder. Drop your left leg down, drop the left leg down. More, 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 even more, drop it down, more. But trust me, more, transfer. Push, left leg down more. Good girl. Beautiful, come out. Good job. I know it feels like you're gonna fall, but the more you, it's okay to do this. It's okay to do this. It's okay to do that. Because when you do that, you really transfer your weight on the leg. When you don't do that, your hip goes to the side. Like yeah. this happening and we don't want that to happen. So what we don't want to happening is this. This, you don't want this to happen. See, it's like impossible to stay. You really want to transfer, even that it's too much, like not even warm up. You really want to transfer your weight. You don't want to go hip to the side. Marcin, my darling, I wish I was there to spank you. Get your shoulders to your ears. Bring your hands a little bit closer together. Give me that hand stance. Please, please, please. I don't want you. That's when your shoulders hurting because you're sinking. You have so much gap in it. Push her up. See, every exercise, guys, I show you not to sink in the shoulders. So let's Cheers, do guys. one more. One more and weigh this back and we're going to do it again. Sorry, guys. Sprinkles and I have new help. That's fine. Ali is the very good transfer chest to the wall and both arms, and I'm yelling at Martin. Here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Martin, I get it all the time. A little bit more close hands, Martin. Oh, nice. A little Martin. bit more. That's it. Lock them arms out, buddy. More, more, push, more, push, Martin. Push, 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 yes, push. right yeah. here. That's your position. Engage your legs, engage your arm. Good, Ali. Nice. nice. Stay, stay, stay. Good. Breathe. Push the floor, Ali. More, more. Martin, push the floor. Okay, show me the left one. Drop that left leg. Drop the left leg more, more. Transfer more. Drop that left leg down. More, more, more. Trust me. More. Now transfer. Push, 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 push. Push, 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 push. I was a little harder. It's okay, but at least, like, you understand what I'm saying. Don't be scared to transfer. Better, Martin. Much better. I know it's hard. That's the hard place, but... Don't give up on yourself. Keep working on that push. When you're going to get that push, more and more you practice with that position, it's going to become natural and normal. Yeah. You get in the hands and you're going to be here. Sinking in the shoulders, you get tired faster. You get pain in your shoulders, your elbows, your wrist. So that's why we're working in a very clinic to have it perfect and clean so you don't have any injuries for the future. So when you, like me, not warmed up, you're not jumping the handstand and hurt yourself because you're in the wrong position. Does that make sense? Yeah. Martin, it's, it's very good conditioning for you to do this. Did you see his squat? His squat is amazing. Yeah. Just, <laughs> and you're, you're like, if you can do that position daily, just, I, I, just to have that strength where once you go up into the wall, you got 30 seconds at least where you're not tired, you're strong, you're in control. And then, you know, then you get tired. That would be great. So doing like that, what Kat's just made you do was, you looked, it looked great. It looked like you were in a handstand, but just lock them shoulders out because you tend to, you tend to sit a little bit. I don't know if I get there. You tend to sit a little bit like this. Okay. Like you, you like pressing 
you're not on the bones. So the difference, right? Push. You get even taller. Squeeze the elbows in. I don't know if you can see my elbows. I'm pushing my elbows together, pushing up. And that, like, <laughs> it's like uh, holding a weight you out here where the weight is just on the muscle as opposed to holding the weight here where it sits through the body. Yeah, so, and you go through the bone. You're stacking your bones like in yoga. That's yeah. why you resting on your bones instead of holding, muscle, muscling up. Alison, so I don't know if Kat might tell me I'm wrong here, but she is the expert when I'm... But remember last time when we discussed this, when you're transferring the weight, I know she's saying move the legs, but remember, think about moving the shoulders over as well. Because if you don't, you're just going to do... You're just going to be like stood like this. You know? No, but but she did. She did. You see no, no, but on the left side. The on the left side. On the left side. side so maybe back. don't think of the legs first. Think about shoulder, then legs, and the legs will balance you over. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I would not think shoulder because when you start to think <laughs> shoulder, you will start to do this because we have tendency to move shoulder and hips. So I want you to transfer your whole weight and then drop the leg. Just think not breaking in the shoulder and not breaking in the hip because often this happens. Hold me. Hold me. So when you say shoulder, you will do this too. Yeah. Like you can't do the shoulder. First. No, but I, I mean, what I mean is, is put yourself on that shoulder by going onto it. It's yeah, like, but to put yourself on the shoulder, you transfer the weight, you drop this little bit and you're right here. She's not there, I'm holding it. Oh yeah, because I'm just <laughs> oh, showing, ex oh, exaggerating. But like, like, like I said, standing, you know, like sometimes, yeah, cat's right, you, we're not doing this to stand on that one leg. You know, but we are like, we're pushing ourselves onto that hip. You know, we're, we're, we're transferring onto it's, it's a perfect comparison to show even in the legs. Yeah. So my foot and my hip through my shoulder is one line. This is all funky monkey, but this is a one line. Nothing changed here. Yeah. So always think of that straight line. So you're stacking your bones, then you can balance on it. It's much easier than you will feel that feeling I'm on it. Okay. Make sense? And upside down is just a little bit weird because you really want to transfer and you do no matter what by shoulder or hip. So that's why you need somebody's eyes or somebody's fingers to hold you right here to transfer you properly. Okay. So um, she can do by the wall, which is makes me happy because she holds a better line. I'm kind of afraid she will break the line if she's yeah, yeah, staying in the middle. I, okay. I honestly, Alison, she's the expert. I told you this before. I mean, I can help when I'm like this. Yes, the wall is really but, good because nothing is coming out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's okay to lean again. You just build the strength in your shoulder. And Martin, I'm, I'm sorry, I probably have to kill you with the straight handstand today. I want you to really lock your shoulder body. Like, I'm so sorry, but I wish I was there and I practiced with you so I can move you forward faster. But yeah, I really want you to have a perfect shoulder so you're not struggling with that worry anymore. And we could do maybe we could do some uh, uh, pike stuff off the off the side of the sofa as well, bum over the shoulder. Yeah, that's why I was showing him. Can you hold my legs ninety degrees? Sorry, Ali, you're gonna move forward so you guys get rest. So be the be the. Uh, so Martin, if you can find a wall mm -hmm. like that, and you just can do this. So like either a wall like my arm is, or you could probably go against the wall and just use. Oh my <laughs> I'm looking at you. Or you so can just yeah. use a wall. All I want you, Martin, to have the straight line from your hands, like in hip and here. Mm. So, so just stay like that and have legs up. You can start in the elbows first. What's going on? <laughs> and like if that's more comfortable, start with elbows. No head down. Not right. to do that. I think your arms, you need to stay on your arms, buddy. You need to get this that confidence and strength. I feel like you've got the strength. You just got to have that body awareness of your body will be able to hold you. Yeah, I just want your legs to be stronger, you know, that more control legs. That's what I want. When you have your legs straight and strong, you will control better yourself and then you can activate the shoulder. Alice, you can go back and do one arms again if you want. Yeah. Prex against the wall. Martin, how you feel, bud? Shoulders yeah. tired? Maybe do the other one that where we just, you know, just jump the other way that we do not walk towards the wall, but we jump. Oh yeah, yeah. Let's okay, do that, yeah, do that one. Let's do that one. Because with those, I don't, I don't, I'm not usually worried about my shoulders with those. Good, Ali. Push, 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 push. 
Mm. Are your cat going crazy? Cat's awesome. <laughs> now left. Nice, Martin. Don't lean too much on that wall, though. Try to be... And look at your hands. Put Don't one foot on the wall and the other leg straight up, if you can. Nice, but align. Good your, line is, your line is good there. It's just Drop hard. the leg more early on the left. That was good. That was good. You just still not enough strength in the, your right arm, right? Your right handed. What? Your right yeah. handed, Alison. So, yeah, right is better. So, yeah, that's normal. My left is not the best either. I'm pretty bad at my left, I will say. But yeah. push yourself to practice both ways so you're not just like one sided. Yeah. Okay. That's very good. I wish like I pushed myself more when I was young. Nice, Martin. I said one leg straight up and then one bent. Um, one more, Ali. You know what I will ask from you? Start with left, right, finish with left. Three okay. times. <laughs> I know. <laughs> yeah, your, your cat it's, is going crazy. It's awesome. <laughs> Martin, hug the elbows towards your face. Hug, straighter elbows. Hug your elbows push, in. Push, push, push. push, push. Look turn, at your turn your elbows in, yeah. Turn your elbows together. Like, lock them out if you can. Yeah. Good position, Ali. More straddle. Start with left. Mm -hmm. Good. Good transfer. Perfect transfer. I love it. A little bit more. Nice. It's okay. It's okay. Other Put side. yourself together, other side. Take a breath, Martin. Engage Martin, your feet. Your elbows look like they look like this, buddy, from here. That's why we keep saying, but can you lock them like yeah. in? what you want to throw me because I think like what am I supposed to do? Yeah so like when they look like that. Yeah so just like I don't know if you can see me here but your your arms are like your thumb like this. It's kind of like you're turning your thumbs in so you're like turning the jaws. So like lock in this way. That's why when I do the warm-up I always try to say it's like lock your arms out and it's 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 called we call it in gymnastics locking your arms so they like can't bend. as well think that you open two jars of something. Your hands is not moving, but just imagine you opening so your elbows automatically will go like this. So imagine you open two jars. Yeah. Lock them out and then try to jump up like that as well. You can start like this. So you can jump up to the wall there as opposed to like this and then getting in and trying to do after. So start locked out and then kick up against the wall. And then you, you could, should, shouldn't, shouldn't have to move them, especially if you know you're going against the wall. Yeah, take a rest, Ali, a little shake. Yeah. That was pretty good transfers. I really like you right, you right away get more confident and you're like, ah, let me just finish this right arm because then you could do the left. Yeah. That's so better because I was like not tired already from being upside down. Yeah. Like when I did the first side, so yeah. Good, good, that's much better. Next one, I want you to really engage your legs and just power up a little bit more, point your toes as strong as you can and lock your lower back. Martin was better line. Yeah, better line. Uh, start to practice and more look at your hands. I know that you try to work on the line, but wall is not gonna be there all the time. So really look at your hands so you can really have that balance. And use wall as less as, as possible. Try to use wall as less as possible. Try to push yourself, like not push, but like tiny bit, like finding your balance, finding your balance, engaging everything. Just guys, really squeeze your body to the cramping. Squeeze, like squeeze everything, engage everything. Yeah, you, you over engage in the beginning, but then your body knows what to do and you don't have to hold it that tight every yeah. single like You just need that. to train your muscles to really engage upside down because you're in a really strange position. You're not supposed to be upside down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Martin, when you're going against the wall, buddy, so what I want you to do is start locked out. So looking at your hands, locked out, head in, start in this position. Now think about whatever leg you want, but kick, one leg touches the wall, the other leg goes straight up. So you're gonna go up and then press. Okay, so you can, you know the wall's gonna stop you. Drop your leg more, Ali, in the left. Oh my God. <laughs> you seriously, my wall's not there. So as you know the wall's there, you can jump and put your foot against it and then press through. But you just keep that from the, from the, from the bottom. And squeeze, 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 squeeze. Keep looking at your hands, lock out the arms, and then once you feel good here, or you feel the weight's through you, and then you can switch. Okay, but start by looking here, 
and then kick him and try not to change that position. But that's step one. Step one's here, jump up, okay, boom. Step two, your foot hits the wall, the other leg goes straight up, boom. So now you're in a straight line, it's just that one leg holding the wall. And then you feel good, you feel good, you're still pressing, and then you can switch. But obviously that's gonna happen in, in a process. So just try to focus on step one, step two, step three, as opposed to thinking about yeah. handstand. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to quick show the transfer, just two fingers under my head. Two fingers under my head. So when you transfer to the left, Ali, drop that leg a little bit more, feel yourself here and then stay. Then come back. Right one is much better. You are much more comfortable and you're here already. Just left one, make sure you little bit try to transfer like that. And I don't want that. I want you to drop, drop it a little bit. <laughs> Make sense? Just left one, right one's already good. Left one, be more, for, even if you fall cartwheel, it's okay. But give yeah. yourself that feeling to be more on the hand. Uh, Martin, you got your directions. <laughs> okay, guys, let's go. Step one, step one, boom. Uh, lock it out, nice. Look at the hands, look at the hands. Okay, now kick, strong leg kick, and go. Boom. Up. Nice. Open the chest. Better, better, Martin. Push, 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 push. One leg straight up. The other leg there. There you go. Yes, Ali. More, more, more. Push the floor. Right here. Nice, girl. Good job. Bravo. Engage your legs more, Ali. Martin, where do you feel the weight, buddy? Drop your right leg more. I don't know. Where you you don't right know? Here. Next time you do it, just feel, feel where the weight goes in your hands. See, just tell me where it goes in your hands. Remember, don't forget the steps. Step one, look, push, push, push. Good. Left one, one more. Get you all you have. That's fine. That's fine. Good. More, Step more, one. More, more, Step Ali, two, more. boom. Good. Now push through, push through, push through. You're tired. First left was better than the third one. Try not to lean on that wall too much. Good. Just use that wall. Shake really lightly use that wall. Ha, ha. It's a lot better, Martin, I tell you now, mate. A lot better. Before you were jumping up and your back was hitting the wall before and your bum was hitting the wall. Now you're actually going up nicely. It's a lot better. Just be more confident in yourself. I feel like then you're going up, up and down nicely. But like I said, step one, boom. If you jump and you don't hit the wall, like I did with Kat, if you jump and you don't make it, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. That's step Keep two. That line, Keep yeah. step one. Go again. Step two, boom. Okay, step two, and then you can do step three. But, you know, you... you if, you've, if you miss on step two, don't panic and jump into it and not forget to press. Um, also, where, where's the weight on the hands? I think that it's here. Oh, here, yeah. I feel like you could really open up your sh shoulders a little bit more. As well, he not open his fingers wide, he crumbling his hands. Yeah. That's another thing to work hard. So you really you, need to get your forearms. When you're here, you right, so. Martin, you look yeah. a little bit like close in the shoulders. I want you to try to Push your shoulders forward a little bit more if you can. He's exaggerating, just, but a little bit, but, yes. But just, but again, feel it. You can do that against the wall, like cat hold my legs. So you're against the wall, you're safe, all right? Your balance is completely against the wall. you got one leg bent. Okay, you can play around a little bit with your shoulders. Feel, feel where it feels good, feel where the weight is. Don't be stuck in this like position, like, ah, you know, press through, open up. Feel where the weight needs to be. Like, you're not stuck in one position. So don't be scared. To, and the same with Alice with you. Like Kat said, just don't be scared to play. If you fall out, you fall out. Heart will out. It's you, know, you will see where it's too push much. Push your shoulders forward a little bit. Again, obviously, don't do it as aggressive as I did. But just feel it. Like, you, with the, we have this thing called Mexican and Jitnacro, where they do the Mexican, the legs go over. And that's kind of like a break dance and shit, where they're like, you're in Hanson, and then you, you kind of like, oh, and you, Please don't break this you do this like this. <laughs> No, I was just going to demonstrate a little bit. But when you learn that, like, I mean, I remember doing this, you know, you just play with your shoulders. So don't be scared to know and be in control. Like, you're not set in one move. You're not like, Ugh. you know, you can be a bit more free there, but you need to know what's right and what's wrong. And I feel like you'll only find that out. What works for you as well is if you just be a bit more confident and, and, and find it. So get it to handstand. Move your shoulders, open them up, down, close them a little bit. Obviously, very small and minutely. Don't just be like, close shoulders, ooh, you're going to fall down. Okay, just close a little bit, open Everything up, in play, control, boom, boom, boom. like a little yeah. bit, like feel yourself where you are. 
And the same again, Alison got into one arm. You could straddle your legs a little bit faster, like go over a bit more. Don't be scared to to play because everybody's different. Your proportions a little different to cats. So like you know, you could have longer arms, shorter legs. Like it doesn't. Everyone's different. So you have to also find it for yourself. But I like well. your timing, Alison. The way you're doing right now, it's good. You're really feeling it. You're transferring. Yeah, that Just wasn't direct. The, the left uh, toward. Uh, Third, I say so terribly third. Third. Third, the transfer. <laughs> you tired, but push yourself to do three. Left, yeah. right, left. Left, right, left. Because left is always shittier one, so work on it. But then also do right, left, right as well, no? Well, no, but sure, right. Just to build up, build up right. Yeah, build but, up yeah. the left for now. Sometimes, you know, <laughs> sometimes when you're tired, your body will find its better line. Yeah, because your left transfer is funnier, yet better. It looks better than the right. Yeah. So sometimes when you're tired, your body finds it naturally. So listen to your body, feel, feel it. That's all I'm all about. I'm all about feeling, you know, body awareness, body control. And, and it's not comfortable. It's not always right. Sometimes, like I tell you, drop that leg and you feel uncomfortable, you're going to fall. But it's a, it's a right position. So don't be fooled by, oh, I'm comfortable. That means it's right. It's going to quickly fade away and then you're going to be falling out. So let's do one more and then we're going to move forward from this one. Martin, same thing. Confidence, man, because you got it. Look at you. Awesome. Step one, step one, step two. Once you're there, then you can play. But look at your hands, look out. Confident jump, find the wall. Boom, good. Now good. lock up to handstand. Look at the floor still. Look nice. at your hands, look at your hands, sorry. Look at your hands, good. You should be able to see your fingertips at least. No, there you right. go. Right, don't touch them. Don't lean against that wall too much. Okay, good. Shake it off. Come out more in control. Yeah, let it go wherever that happened just now. It's not going to happen. I know you're tired, but give you all, like, push. Push, 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 push. Come on, look at them hands, look at them hands. Try to bring your hips away nice from the wall. Right leaning. here, push. Oh, nice. Good girl. Don't awesome. lean too much on the wall, Martin. Now, easy one. The right one. Push, push, Good. Push, push. It's a lot better, Martin. You should be proud of yourself, buddy. But again, it's just going to take time and get consistent. Now, every time you jump up, it's pretty much one out of ten you'll fall or two out of ten. Before, Bravo, it was one out of ten that you'd make it, you know, when you're first jumping up. So, you're definitely progressing, which is, which is good. Come on, one more. You got in you. Push, 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 push. Just fingertips are for. Okay. <laughs> She's tired. It's good. Good job. Good job, people. You guys, awesome. that's the thing as well. This is only so much you can do before you're like, uh, you know, as your kids, like your body weight's like 20 pounds, so you can do it all day long. But Yeah, we'll have training for three hours with the rest, of course. But you just keep practicing. It wasn't long enough. It wasn't long enough. <laughs> it wasn't long enough. <laughs> but yeah, don't overdo it. Because obviously, you know, we have jobs and lives and, you know, we're not competing in sport. So... A little bit a day would be better than two hours of one, you know? Like, so just take what we, we give you now, get against the wall, make sure you're warm, and just do, I don't know, five sets, you know, of 30 second hold or, you know, three yeah, transitions. If you did your handstands, at least like two holds by the wall every day, if you give you handstand every day chance, I don't tell you to practice one hour or two or even 30 minutes. If you give yourself a chance of a handstand every day, you're going to progress so much better. Just give yourself every day a little bit, every day. Yeah. Maybe like after my class or after yoga. Especially, especially after when yoga. you're tired, it's really good. Get that hands and hold. Give, give yourself that one minute by the, but keep that good form. Film yourself once again, chest and strong. Push the line. You can judge yourself already by the information you know. And good job, Rick. I'm happy with your transfer, Ali. Good. And little adjustments with you, Martin. That's really good. I know it's a process. I know you want to be in a handstand, but man, that's not an easy one until we do that. And once you get it, though, it's like, right, like you, it's one of the things you'll be able to do forever, really. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's a fun trick to do. And, you know, and you, you don't have to, yeah. you don't have to you know, relearn it. it every now and again. Yeah. It's just, you know, your body will take over. So it's like riding a bike, but just a really difficult bike to get on. <laughs> Let's stretch out. Let's stretch out with cat. Yes. I'm going to do some weights. Oh, I need to stretch out. Okay, where are we tied the most today? Uh, shoulders. Shoulders. Okay, Martin. 
And maybe the back here. Okay, okay, good. All right, do we have a roll? Anybody have a roll, foam roller? Yeah, grab one. Awesome, perfect size. All right, I'm gonna show you sideways. So put in the midline. Oh, where is Ali? She went to get the full roll. You can see me well, yeah? Yes. Okay, is that metal one? Yeah, is that not good? No, I don't know. Put the mat over so you're not hurting. <laughs> but us. <laughs> yeah, put mat over the roll. And make sure the roll is this line. It's not like sideways. So this line, like this. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, so try to lay on it. And maybe make sure that it's between your shoulder blades that your head is can drop back. Support yourself, bring your heels closer to your buttocks. Ideally, it's a longer roller, will be better. Open your arms to the side. Drop your head back, relax to it. Give yourself a second. Just really open your arms. Head completely relaxed. Try to get rid of all the tension. If you can relax your booty towards the floor, that's good too, but support yourself with your feet. Try to have zero tension. Really relax, melt into the roll. Your body is like melting in that roll. Give yourself two breaths. Now just bring your arms together and hug yourself. Keep your head on the floor. Nice, switch the grip. Opposite elbow. Nice, extend your arms up, bring up and over your head. Deep breaths. Nice, bring your arms by your side and slowly lift up. Let's find cross-legged easy seated position. Get your back straight, bring your arms up, grab your elbow, simple stretch. Try to push your chest forward and push your head. Really try to bring your elbow behind your head, not on the side. Really try to bring behind your head and push your head back towards the arm. Chest forward, you can relax your belly. Make sure you see both sitting bones on the mat. Breathe through it. Change, other side. Really bring that elbow and try to relax your shoulders down. Try not to be up here, relax down. Pull that elbow to the side. Push your head, chin up, push your head back. You feel the stretch in your tricep? Yeah, good, good, nice. Use your breath, breathe through it, pull, pull, pull. Nice, release, change your legs, switch your legs, a little bit uncomfortable way. Another heel in front of the other. And we did that before, interlace your hands behind your head, drop your chin in, drop your head down, back straight first, elbows in, elbows in, and relax it down completely. Belly doesn't do anything, you can keep it relaxed. Gently pull on your head. Try to relax it down, chin to your chest. Very gentle pull. Imagine your arms just hanging on your head. S sort of slightly lean back, round spine. Feel the stretch in the neck, your upper back, relax your shoulders. Try to find no tension here. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice, inhale, lift up, open your elbows, look up. Open your chest, full breath. 
and exhale back to the same position. Hug your elbows in, tuck your chin and drop your head down, gently pulling your head. You guys feel the stretch on your neck? Good, good. If you can go even lower, that good slightly lean back. Lean with your back, yes, and pull. Two breaths here. Nice, release. Did you guys feel the stretch right here in the neck, that little uncomfortable feeling, that kind of an achy feeling? Yeah, yeah, that's good, that's good, that's really good. All right, uh, are we still warm? We feel warm? Yes. Yeah, okay, let's do bridges and then we're gonna go quickly for a wheel. And we're gonna do not traditional way, not really yoga style. We're gonna get a hold of our ankles and really push our heels towards our butt. Make sure your knees is not full open or full in, in line with your toes. Look up and lift your hips up. Feel the stretch in your neck. Feel the length in your arms. Pull your hips even higher. Make sure your knees in line with your toes. And lower down. Take a breath. And one more hips up. Really push it up, push, 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 push. Feel the length in your arms. Push. And lower down. Hug your knees into your chest. Make sure the whole spine is flat on the mat. Reach your tailbone towards the mat. Long neck, back of the neck flat. Keep hugging in. Open your knees towards your chest. Toes touch. Open your knees, open your knees. And let's do full happy baby. Alison, try to grab not outside of your feet and inside of your feet. Yes, it's a little bit better grip. Better opening and try to tap your knees side to side. Flex your feet. Try to open your knees wider. Try to get a hold of the floor with your knee. Tap, tap, bigger rows. Tap, tap. Good. Now keep a hold of your feet. Try to extend your knees. Even if it's all the way up, that's absolutely fine. Wherever your body goes, but try to lock your knees full. Two breaths here. Try to go deeper. One more breath. Pull, 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 open up. And release, give yourself one more big hug. Squeeze your knees towards your body. Now round your back and place your forehead towards your knees. Squeeze and release. Soles of the feet on the mat. And let's go for the wheel. Bring your palms by your ears. And one, two, three, lift up. Full wheel. Add little sway back and forth. Push back and forth. Breathe through, don't forget to breathe. Martin, get your arms a little bit straighter. Push, push, push the floor. And bring your chest more forward. Beautiful, guys. Stop in the middle, lower down. We're gonna do second set. Bring your knees towards your chest. Give yourself a hug. Relax. Breathe. And release your feet on the floor. One more set. Hands by your ears, squeeze your elbows towards your face. One, two, three, lift up. Look at your hands. Look at your hands this time and really press the chest forward. Bring your shoulders on top of your wrist. Push your chest forward. Try to get your legs nice and straight if you can. Push, 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 push as hard as you can. Push, breathe. Beautiful. Bring your heels closer to your hands and lower down. Nice, open your feet wide, drop your knees side to side, release your back. And 
and rock and roll back to your seated position. You can do two or three times, whatever you want. Uh, if you have that form still, Ali, get a hold of it. Martin as well, bring under your right heel for your uh, Achilles. Open your straddle as much as you can. Get your legs as wide as you can. Sit up straight so we're not sinking back. Sit up straight. Reach past your heel, left arm up, and reach up and over. Look up, open your side. Feel the stretch in your ribs, but make sure your left hip is on the mat. Don't let your left hip leave the floor. Reach your right arm forward even more. You try to get a hold of something. Do you feel the stretch in the right hamstring? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Try to lock that knee. Good, come back. Counter stretch to the left very quick, just to touch. And change, change the foam roller. Other side, you don't stay longer on the left. So get your straddle as wide as you can. A little bit sideways to you. So lean forward. Make sure your hips is not sinking there. Lean forward, Martin, a little bit more, chest forward, lift up, sit up, and left arm reach past your heel and right arm up and over. Keep your right hip on the mat, both feet flex, pull, stretch, look up, open your rib cage towards the ceiling, breathe. I really feel the stretch in my left, on my right side, towards the lower back. If you feel somewhere else, that's good too. It all depends on your flexibility, where you are today, that's okay. One more breath. And change on the side, quick pull. Nice, release. Now legs together, bring that foam roller underneath your heels, flex your feet. Sit up straight. Ali, you okay with that metal? Doesn't hurt. Okay, good. Okay, feet together. And same, we're gonna do Pashmatnasana like we do in yoga. Uh, I'm hyperextended knee. If you are not, that's absolutely fine. We have different bodies. But try to just relax your knees down and squeeze your legs together. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Pull on your toes. A little bit deeper hamstring stretch because our heels is a little bit up. Flex your feet and try to really pull on your toes. You're gonna to have this uncomfortable feeling in your calf and your hamstrings, but breathe through it, embrace it. Oh, drop your head, drop your head down, drop your head down, drop your head down. Deeper stretch, try to relax it. Pull, 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 stretch. Nice, release. Separate your feet in the V or even wider as much as you can. Use your roller, hands on the roller and roll forward. Yeah, maybe get that roller <laughs> further. Try to reach your toes up, melt your chest down. Drop your head down, relax the Try to get your back nice and straight, work your chest even more further. Give yourself five deep breaths. I know it's uncomfortable, but you'll see how much deeper you'll go. I'll leave you all the way down, start to push your legs more into a split. Martin, stay where you're at. So yeah, if you can go in a full split and relax it down, that's great. Martin, breathe. Yeah, nice, go for it, girl. Yes, give yourself five breaths. It's probably already three. You got it, you got it. I know it hurts. <laughs> okay, one more breath. And lift up, good job. Let's quick stretch our hips, double pigeon. If it's not working, 
Let's stretch just like that. That's absolutely fine. Let's choose this option today. I see you both pretty tight. So flex your foot, whatever that foot is on top. So make sure your heel is on top of your knee, just like trading the needle. So that's easy, right? Work your hands closer to your buttocks, but avoid leaning back. Chest over, shoulders down. Now work your heel closer to your buttocks. Keep your uh, foot flex. Martin, flex your foot even more on top. And make sure that heel is on top of the knee, not your ankle. Your heel, yes, good job. And now press your chest forward. You feel the stretch in your hip? Oh, yes. Do. So yeah, adjust as much as you need. As long as you feel that stretch, go a little bit deeper, maybe hands closer or heel closer, or work your butt closer towards your heel and try to keep your chest uplifted. You can rock a little bit, like you're rocking a baby in front of you. So I'm gonna turn to you because we're gonna move forward. So a little bit more. Really push that chest, feel that stretch. Okay, nice. Now slowly push your leg down. So in your seated position, so sit up. Make sure your both hips is on the mat and bring your opposite arm of your leg over this arm behind the hip and twist. Try to be straight in your back, look back. Use that elbow and really push, 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 push. Beautiful release, turn forward and just simply Little push up, counter stretch. Yeah, just a push up and lift up. Let's change the leg. Yeah, I don't know which leg you guys doing because you're in the mirroring. So place that heel on the knee, don't let it pass. Heel on the knee, flex that foot and work yourself forward. Slide your booty maybe closer to your heel. Adjust yourself. Really push your chest forward. Don't sinking in the shoulders. Stay long. Feel the stretch in this hip. Keep it flex. Rock the baby. I completely forget the rock the baby. Actually, you can do this guy and extend that leg and rock that baby. That's what the baby is. So you can try that and then extend that leg and just a little rock. Hey, Martin, where are you going? <laughs> you like cuddling with the baby. <laughs> it's okay, get back to this position, it's fine. As long as your foot is flexed, that's the most important to keep the form and get that stretch. That's just another option just to have fun with it. Okay, bring your hands closer, get a deep, little deeper, make yourself a little more compact. One more breath. And slowly lower your foot down. Both sitting bones on the mat, make sure it's there. You can point this toe, bring the opposite arm of the knee and twist. Ooh, I cracked my back. <laughs> Yes, they lift it. Straight line, flat. Feel the stretch. Release and counter stretch. Both hands come up as a direction. Give a little push up. Head touch the foot and lift up. Nice. Extend your legs. Give them a nice shake. And let's do the plow to finish, to really stretch our neck. You know what plow is. You just roll over your head and bring your straight legs. Don't be like me, don't look on the side. Just have your legs straight over, look up. Support your lower back. Feel the stretch in the neck. Get your legs nice and straight. Get comfortable here, rock back and forth. Get used to it, little short breaths here because your throat is a little bit choked. 
Try to relax to it. And when you're ready, separate your feet and work your knees towards your shoulders. You can relax your arms on the floor or you can hug your legs up and over. Try to really relax to it. Enjoy your short breaths. Stay calm, stay light, look up. Add maybe little rocks back and forth if you need more air. But try to work your knees towards the floor as much as you can. Very light pushes, very gentle. Nice. Slowly extend your legs straight. Bring your arms in line with your body and slowly unroll yourself down just like you do in yoga. Make sure lower back is on the floor, straight legs. Make your way down. And we're gonna finish with the fish to open our chest, the opposite what we just did. You're just gonna do simple fish. So hands under your butt, open your elbows and really pop your chest up and place your crown of the head on the floor. Relax here. You can point your toes, engage your quads, and only lift the heels of the mat. Beautiful. Untuck your chest and relax it down. Good work, guys. Roll up whenever you need, whenever you're ready. How are you feeling? Good. Good. You feel stretch out, less tension in the neck. How's it? Good. Yeah. Always when you watch TV or something, when you like relax, you always can do little reverse prayer. Always give you a good stretch in the shoulders mm -hmm. and just simple time to time, little eagle arms. Always give you a good stretch when you've been in the computer for a while. So, and that fish pose open your chest. So that's very simple ones. But when you really need to stretch your back, always can do a camel, you know this one, to really like lengthen your spine and open your hips. So yeah, use this, use this on a daily basis to get your body in alignment. You don't have to do the whole class of yoga, just like a little things, little movement to put yourself together after somewhere sitting long or standing long. So that should help you. 